Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, if you ask any Kenyan about the former first lady, that is immediate former first lady, Margaret Kenyatta, what can they remember about her? At least out of ten, eight will have something to tell you. And if they are women, especially those who have kids, all of them will have something to tell you about Margaret Kenyatta. Her presence when she was the in the office of the first lady was felt and it is still remembered. There was something she was standing for. There was something she was doing. And that thing was touching lives of many young and women in this country. Today she is no longer in that office. We have another person in the office. Rachel Ruto currently is the first lady in the very same office, office funded by taxpayers' money. That's why we're talking about that. If it's not a public office, we can't come here to speak about it. So we question it because it is an office funded by your money. So, right now, if you ask any Kenyan about Rachel Ruto, what can you remember about her? Or what do you know about Rachel Ruto? Yes, people knows her they have something to remember about her but not everyone and what is that up to today for me personally i don't understand what rachel ruto stands for as the first lady what she's pushing for if you ask me about the spouse to the deputy president regarding gashagwa dorikas gashagwa what is she standing for what is, is she pushing for at least there is something she's doing in her office. Number one, she has a program that she's pushing for the boy child agenda to be recognized in society and above all, the space for the boy child in this country. She's pushing for that agenda. Above all, the issue to do with the uh, drug addict, it is something she's pushing for. She's campaigning for that and she's trying to save lives. She's trying to save the future of this country. Ana pigana na mambo ya pombe, ana pigana na mambo ya mihadarati. That is Dorcas Gashagwa. Lakini Rachel Ruto anafanya kazi gani? What is she pushing for? What is the agenda she's standing for in that office that is being funded by taxpayers money? Sijui, lakini unaweza niambia in the comment section if you know anything that she's working on, which really touches the lives of Kenyans. We know very well there is a huge crusade in this country going on where you see the presence of Rachel Ruto there, you see Dorikas Gashagwa, and we know Kenya Kwanza. They even, uh, they, they even uh, told us that Ruto might be attending one of the events, but how do you want Kenya Kule? But it's something that's being pushed by the Kenya Kwanza regime under the office of the first lady, Rachel Ruto. Unajua hiyo ofisi na iko na pesa. Walituambia kuna budget imetumika kufanya hiyo, lakini kuna either kuwa na uwezekano wa hiyo pia in the very same office. The only thing I heard Rachel Ruto talking about was all to do with the family faith diplomacy. He said that is what he's standing for. Family faith diplomacy. But I have never seen how this is impacting on lives of people of this country. Sijawahi kuona. And Pauline Joroge was questioning the work that First Lady is doing or what she stands for. And uh, there is something she has shared on her Facebook, which you want to go and look into. Then we we'll go deep into the discussion. But just a quick request. For those who are watching and you have not yet subscribed, please just consider to subscribe to our channel. Express Master. Thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. For those who want to reach out to me, my number is always in the description box, 07 uh, 95 95 Another one is 07 08 94 00 92. Zoda Zuko na WhatsApp, na Zoda na Mpesa. So you can reach out in case you have something you want to share with us in terms of advice. You want to encourage us and you want to support your work. You can do that with all those numbers. Now, this is what Pauline Joroge is questioning here. 
just a concern. I, I visited the first lady Rachel Ruto's page to see what she has been up to this year. Beside the foreign mission where she accompanied the president, her activities in the country are mostly about attending church functions. I am wondering what is her pet project. As Mama Taifa, what is she doing to support the mothers and the children of this nation? Maybe she needs to sit down with Ma Margaret Kenyatta or Dorcas Gachagua and get advice on how to go about these things. It is true, Margaret Kenyatta was standing for something. Dorcas Gachagua, with the, a small budget compared to what the First Lady has, she's standing for something. Hatunge Kusu Rikata Gachagua. You're talking about Dorcas Gashagwa. She is standing for something. And you can feel her presence to some areas. Sana sana kule Mount Kenya. Kuyu Ruto, Rachel Ruto, anasimamia nini. Ata ukeenda kuangalia Mseli Amudabadi's wife, Mama Tess. She has been pushing for the, you know, education of the less fortunate in the community. She has had that mission. Orphans. Amekua na mission ya kusaidia mayatima. That's what she's running. Though for her, you know, she is not sharing on um, in public platforms. Hana in a social media platform as of now. But that's what she does. Huyu mwenye ako anafeza kwa ofisi anafanya nini. Ukienda kuangalia in her page and many people have been, you know, Pauline Njoraki just made many people to go and visit her page to see really what she's doing there. You can see, this is coming at a time when we know Pastor Benin Him is in this country and the person behind this might be the first lady according to the perception among Kenyans. This is what she shared. At the, the, the Nyayo Stadium in Nairobi for the first day of the healing, the nation crusade with Pastor Benin Him. She even went live with this. You see, Rachel Ruto was live. She shared information there. You can see. The oneness of the body of Christ and the harmony witnessed today among religious leaders and believers is divine. I thank the Church of, Church of, of Jesus Christ for them hosting Pastor Benin him and giving selfless to make the crusade a success. I joined other believers at Nyan Stadium in Nairobi for the first day of the healing, the nation crusade. Hizo ndi anajua. Kumona kipata kama mikono juu, anaomba, hizo ndi anajua. But how is she impacting lives in this country? The last time she tried to stand for something, it was when we heard that she's going to adopt Kakamega Forest. There was a section of Kakamega Forest in tune of thousands of acres that she was supposed to adopt. Here to the scarce queen Guinea. And what followed? It was division and sharing of Kakamega forest land. A section of the forest, there was a fight between the Luya community and the Kalenjin community, whereby Luyas were complaining that Kalenjin were coming to Kakamega and getting subdivision of the land from the forest, yet they were not considering lawyers. With that, they said, we cannot allow our forest to go to other people. They stopped it. So, I don't know how far she's still with the, uh, the move to adopt Kakamega Forest. But up to date, I don't understand how family face diplomacy is helping families in this country. I don't know how she has helped reach out to the needy people or the people she's talking about in terms of faith. Because if you check, her tray is full of many issues that she needs to talk about and deal with. Women health care, children health care, there's gender-based violence she can really come out without, without, without to stop it. 
you've heard how young girls have been killed in a BNB here. Yeah, BNB. We've heard so many things. Our children are hurting. How comes a small kid like Kendo Salah and Lepishu? But Margaret Kenyatta was pushing for beyond zero. That really touched many lives. Children enjoyed women. They were safe in the hands of Margaret Kenyatta. Now, if we speak to women in this country, how safe are you in the hands of Rachel Ruto? You can see the Kenya here, and that is where we are. I don't know your views, but let us meet in the comment section to continue this discussion. Thank you so much, and see you in our next video.